Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Rockerdad with another video with great and December tips. In this video, we're gonna give you all the basic tools that you need so you can craft great items for your build. Because you know what? Builds are not just about skill rooms and link rooms and zodiac points. The equipments, the perfect equipments for your build can make a huge difference in your numbers. So I really hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, press the like button and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet so you can get notified every time I post a new video and also we have a discord server now you can check the link in the description so all my videos I'll put I'll put there um, and all the news about uh, on December I also post there I try to keep that uh, um, discord server as updated as possible and the community is slowly growing and the more the merrier. So you are very welcome and I hope you join it. So now let's get back to the video and let's understand how to use all these essences here so we can craft great items, okay? Let's go. Let's start with this um, spalders here. First thing that I wanna show you guys is this essence. This is the quality birth essence and it increases the quality of an item. It has to be a normal item. Um, if I try to put here a um, rare uh, helmet, then the option is not here anymore. So you're gonna put here the spalders because n now it's back on. And what this does is it in increases that actually it uh, gives quality to an item, to a normal item. So what is quality? Quality is um, a way to increase the normal stats of an item. So it goes from 1% to 20%. And if the item doesn't have any quality, then there is no percentage here, so it's like zero. So if you put another spouter that is a copy of this one uh, next to it, this one will have better stats because it has a uh, quality. If the other one doesn't have any quality, it's like a zero quality, um, then the stats won't receive any bonus and most probably it will have uh, lower stats than a spouter's with quality, okay? so. Just to show you guys how this works, we're gonna select here the quality birth essence and we're just gonna click on enchant and uh, now it's 9%. So it does not necessarily increase, it's random from 1 to 20, okay? So I just increased now uh, by chance um, from 5% to 9% and uh, the stats here, it has increased as well. So. Uh, for the rest of this video, we're going to use uh, another item here. Um, where is it? We're going to work with a scepter. Okay. So how do we prepare? How do we craft a good item for our build? So the first thing that we do, and this is not necessarily give uh, a quality to an item. You only do it if you want to. I like to give it. Uh, I like to do it because, you know, the more stats that I have, the better the item is. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to create a magic item uh, and we're gonna make it as good as we can. And after we create the magic item, we will upgrade it to rare. And then we're gonna put some final touches and the item will be ready, ready to use or ready to sell at the auction house. So this one here will turn a normal item into magic item. So I just click here and now it's a magic item and it has um, two options here, okay? Uh, a magic item can have uh, at the most three options, while a rare item can have uh, from um, six, from four to six options. No less than four, no more than six, and a magic one, no less than one, no more than three. So what would we have here? We have like these uh, circles with numbers inside them. This is like the quality of the option that you got here. So this is like quality seven. The quality ranges from uh, one to 10. And um, I got here 49% damage against enemies affected by status effect. Now I'm playing on the PC and if I press the Alt key, it's going to show me the range of this option. So this option, um, damage against enemies affected by status effect, is quality seven. At quality seven, uh, the range of this number here, uh, it goes from 48% to 55%. So I'm at the lower end with my 49% roll. Um, and here we have a debuff rate of plus 12. Here at a quality nine, it ranges from 11 to 13. So I'm uh, I'm on average here. I'm at plus uh, plus 12. 
So just to show you guys what these numbers inside the circles are, also, also uh, note that um, when we have this dot, see that this circle has a dot here at the bottom. So uh, this is indicating that these are prefixes and when the dot is up, that is a, a suffix. So here we have all the prefixes and the suffixes available and we have also their percentage, the chance of rolling any of these prefixes or suffixes. So this one here, I can click again and now uh, it's going to just re-roll the, the item as a new magic item. Now we have three stats. It's the maximum amount of stats that I can have. Sorry, uh, three options. It's the maximum amount of options that a magic item can have, but it doesn't have, um, they are not all showing that. Like I have one here, it's uh, described, but the other ones, we have an interrogation. So how can you make those interrogations um, become options? You use the coin. The coin will reveal uh, one interrogation for each coin. So I, I press here. And now I have one more option revealed and I have another interrogation. I can just press here. I use another coin and another option revealed. So now let's just say that I don't like these options and I want to change all of them. Then I will use the magic birth essence uh, because it rerolls all the options. Okay. Um, it does not change the amount of options that you have. It will uh, reroll the, the amount of options that you have. If I only had one option, it would reroll one option. I have three options, so it's going to reroll all, re all three. Uh, it's not necessarily going to give me three new ones. It's going to give me between one and three new ones, but I, I, I retain um, the amount of options. So now I would have to uh, use the coin again to reveal these, or I can just use the magic birth essence again and just reroll everything, uh, reroll one more time, um, and I keep keep doing that. Now let's assume that I I don't want any of these, and what I really want in my acceptor is like um, poison damage. So how can I uh, get poison damage? Let's see what what the chances of getting poison damage is. Um, poison damage suffix is 1.06%. 1 so it's very low and uh, it's basically 1%. So I would have to reroll this like 100 times um, on average to get what I want. Now there is a way to get uh, what you want with 100% chance and that is using the magic fix uh, essence. So the magic fixed essence, what it's going to do is you're going to select, select one option and you will get that option, guaranteed. The other ones will be re-rolled, okay? They're going to be random. So we're going to select, uh, select an option here. I'm going to get poison damage, okay? And I'm going to press enchant and I'll get poison damage here and the other two will be re-rolled uh, randomly. So I got poison damage, quality four. Um, I got 19, so it's like an, an average roll here between 17 and 21. I also got dot amplification and um, attack and spell damage added to the attack and spell damage of the scepter. Uh, what else can we do here? Uh, well, let's just say that we want to reroll these values. I'm satisfied with the options, but I'm not satisfied with the values of the options. Now I can use this one, this magic change essence, and it's going to man, it's going to keep the same qualities. It's going to keep the same options. The only thing that will be rerolled are these values here, respecting the limits um, of each option here. So let's do it. See now it changed. My poison went from 19% to 17%, so the, the qualities remain the, uh, the same numbers. Uh, those limits remain the same. Uh, the only thing that is re-rolled is uh, these values here. They are re-rolled. That's how you use the magic um, change essence. So um, there's only one thing missing. Now let's just, uh, here, we have only two options. and um, But I want another option here added so I can get my maximum amount of three options. And I don't want to re-roll these ones. I just want to add another one. Then I use this magic expansion essence because it, it increases the maximum option count by one, respecting that a magic item uh, cannot have more than three. So I'll just press enchant and now I have one more. I got like 15.2% speed, quality eight. 
Now see that I cannot use this anymore because the maximum amount of options for a magic item is three options and I already, I already got three options. So I cannot use it anymore. So we have seen how to use the magic upgrade essence because it, become, it turns an, a normal item into magic one and I can reroll magic items into new magic items. We have seen magic birth essence, it's just going to reroll all the options that you have respecting the amount of options that you have. Um, we have seen that magic fixed essence, you can uh, choose one option and you will get it guaranteed while re-rolling all the other options. We have seen magic imbu essence, uh, it's going to turn interrogations and reveal one option behind one interrogation. Um, we have seen the magic change essence, just going to re-roll these values here respecting uh, these limits and without changing the options or the qualities of the options. And we have seen the magic expansion essence and it adds one line without changing the others. So the other ones, you know, the other options remain the same and it adds one extra option. So now let's assume that our item is ready to become a rare item. We have um, we have worked with the magic essence here and we have uh, perfected this item as much as we wanted um, as a magic item. Now we want to upgrade it to rare item. Now we have three faces here, three options available. This one here, it changes a normal magic or rare item into magic rare and unique. The problem with using this option here is that it's going to reroll all these options. So we don't want that because we just made this. We like these options and we want to keep these options. We want to make this item uh, rare so we can add more options to the item. We don't want to reroll this. And so if we use this, we're going to reroll everything. Okay, so we don't want to do that. Uh, this one here is a reversion essence. It turn, it changes magic, rare, and legendary items back to normal item. So after we do everything, we work on the item, if we look at the final result and we are not satisfied, we can just uh, re reverse it back to normal and start the process all over again. Now this here, the rare um, upgrade essence, this is what we want. We have our magic item ready with all the options that we want. We like the values, uh, we like the qualities. We want now to be for this item to become rare so we can add more options to it. We can add between one and three more options because rare items can have between four and six options total. So we're going to just select this essence and we're gonna click enchant. So we got two more options. We got um, gear stat requirement. We get a bon bonus of minus 12% for gear, uh, gear stat requirement, and we got this one here, plus 61% damage against crowd controlled enemies. Okay, uh, so what can we do now? Do we like these options? We don't like these options. Now see here that we have the same uh, the same essences, so we can reroll this item as a rare one. If we want to like uh, add one more option, we have to use the rare expansion essence. We cannot use the magic expansion essence because now this item is a rare one. So we'd have to use this one. So suppose that we like these five options and we like so much this item that we, we decided, you know what? I only have four of these rare magic essences and this essence is quite rare, um, as you can see. So I'm just gonna add one more option here just to make this item even better. So you can do that. You can reroll um, these numbers like, th this is like we are putting the final touches on an item that we are creating. We just made that item rare and uh, we know that there is room for more improvement. Like we, we watch here the limits and we see that we have a good range. Uh, we can make those numbers better. So we go and use the rare change essence if we want to. Um, now, if you use uh, this one here, the rare birth essence, you're just rerolling everything. The same here, you reroll everything, but you choose one. So this is like starting an item from scratch. And it, it doesn't make a lot of sense to do that here. If you want to start an item from scratch, just use the reversion essence, make it back to normal and start all over again with these essences here because they're cheaper and they are much easier to come by than these ones, okay? Um, 
So what else do we have here that we have not seen before? We have this uh, wolf looking uh, essence. It's the disintegration essence. So what it does is it's going to remove one option here and it can be used with magic items as well. Okay, it can be used with magic and rare, and rare items and removes one option from this list by chance. So let's see. Take a look at the options that we have here. We're gonna press enchant. So the last one disappeared. These are the basic essences that we need to understand when we are crafting items for our build or to sell at the auction house. It takes a little time to explain them, but after you understand how to use them, then it's very easy uh, from the moment on. So remember, uh, some essences you have a hard time to come by and you can always craft more of them at the alchemy table. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you find it useful. If you do, please remember to press the like button and to share it with your friends. The more people, the merrier. And remember, we have a Discord a server. Uh, the link is on the description. You can find all my videos there and you can also go there and change uh, uh, your experience with uh, the rest of the community. So I'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet so you get notified every time I post a new video. And uh, see ya.